How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best class setup for the new UGR SMG here in Black Ops Cold War. All right, so before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm gonna need you guys to make sure you hit the subscribe button for me. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers, and you're not gonna wanna miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. Next, make sure to also smash the like button. It's the easiest and most effective way to support the channel. Let's jump right into it. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is going to be a five attachment class out of the UGR, and as you can also see, level max there, so I did get all the way leveled up. I'm working on Dark Matter Ultra and also Dark Aether. So if you guys want to see videos with those camos, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. So like I said, we're going with Perk Greed. Starting us off here, I have the VDV reinforced. I was thinking while I was recording the first gameplay, I was thinking this is probably going to be a Task Force Barrel build. I want that bullet velocity and effective damage range, but the Task Force Barrel actually takes away effective damage range, which is much different there. So uh, as you guys can see with the task force, you gain 6% damage, which really isn't worth it. If, if it was like a little more where it would make it like 50 damage or something, I guess that would be like 11% or something. It would probably be worth it. But uh, the fall off of losing effective damage range really wasn't in it for me. So I decided to go with that reinforced there. Down to the underbarrel, the Spetsnaz grip. This is for all recoil control needs. I'm going to be honest, I didn't really change this. It came right on the blueprint. So I never really tried to see if it was, you know, possible to go with the speed grip or the foregrip there. But... For, you know, just after me playing with it, it felt very comfortable running that Spetsnaz grip. Down to the magazine, the only option you got, the explosive bullets there. So we are sacrificing some reload quickness and aim down sight speed, but believe it or not, we are gaining extra bullets into the magazine there. It uh, brings it up like three, I believe the stock is 27, but the big thing here is gonna be added damage to the weapon, which is what makes it what it is. If Without that added damage, I feel like it hits a little like light, I suppose, it's just not that good. It's still not that great to be 100% honest with you. It is very balanced, I guess. If they made it any better, it would be an absolutely ridiculous mess. It'd be like the Tech 9 when it was a three shot kill. Down to the handle, we're last scrap, like always here. Most amount of aim down sight speed, flinch resistance, and ability to drop shot. And then finishing off the build with the KGB skeletal stock, we got 30% added to our sprint to fire speed, along with 10% also added to the aim walking movement speed. So that's my class setup for the UGR. We're going to be heading over to jungle where I get my first nuclear over there. So make sure you guys stick around and drop a comment down there. Any, you know, anything you want to see in the future. If you guys want to see another UGR class setup, make sure you guys get that down in the comment section. Without further ado, we're going to slide into that gameplay right now. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so as promised, we are on jungle again. <clears throat> Here to get a nuke with the best class setup. <clears throat> For the new SMG. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm not sick by any means. I'm just kind of losing my voice here. We're going to see if the nuke is possible here. I've been playing for a bit. It's safe to say I don't know where I'm getting shot from. I think right there. I want to cross this bridge, but I'm scared that the second I go into the open here. Yep, I'm going to get shot. Get me over. Nice little long shot. I forgot to put Ninja on from when I was playing Nuketown. Oh, that was a free kill. <laughs> okay, so next hill is here. Hard point located. I need to get over here. This is a good spot to hold this down. That was a sniper, so a bit. We're not gonna go there. No oh my, where did he come from, bro? He went on the biggest flank. My team wasn't anywhere around me. Nobody went to the hill. That's so, that sucks. I should have hit the UAV. Enemy spy plane inbound. They have a spy plane too. That guy right there. Micro beef. Micro Beast's gonna hunt me. Hostiles have 
the hard point. I think this is him. Not him. Good effect on target. Good stuff, teammate. Wait. Okay, no one. They're all up there. If I can get across the bridge, I can use the war machine to break. I was feeling good about that last streak. That's why it stinks so bad. War machine, bringing it. Tackle. May as well just harp it now. There's a lot of hit markers. Ow. This is a hill that's extremely hard to break. Yeah, it's just a hard hill to break. And there's a guy over there. I can't really move. In all honesty, I can't really move. Unless I go for like the biggest flank. All point is secure. Yeah, we're gonna go on the long route here. I didn't really utilize that. Harp very well. We are close to a UAV though. No surprises up here. No, they're all on the hill. Yeah, all on the hill. We're gonna go on a flank here, I think. Probably be a good idea. Right here. Yep, and then turn around. Hard point lockdown. I'm playing a little slow. It's kind of just how you got to play this. I'm scared about behind me. They have a spy plane. I hope I'm running ghost. I don't think I am now. Glad I turned around. I'm going to play with the team over here. I'm going to turn around. One kill off harp. This is the hill that has... Messed me up more than once. Contesting hard point. Lost the hard point. War machine hot. There we go. Now I at least know where they're at. Ooh, hold on, I gotta wait because of spawn protection. Alright, we're behind him. This should be it. There we go. I played that really slow, but some sometimes you just gotta take what's given to you. Oh, 
ahead. Hostile counter spy plane established above. Hey, okay. No, he's laying in his spawn. Deploy war machine. It just goes to show I could have definitely played more aggressive than I did. There's a guy here. And then there's a guy up here. Really lucky they turned around at the last second. Field might plant it. Testing hard point. This weapon is definitely not overpowered by any means. Nice teammate. Enemy sniper shooting. I need to get on there. Testing hard point. Two down. Hard point lost. Yep. I think there's a guy up there, but I'm hoping my teammate just picks it up. Ten by. Alright. I think it's just time I hit the nuke here. Let me get let me know if you guys want like a dark aether in a dark matter ultra video because I'm getting close to dark matter ultra I believe it's just uh, uh, long shots at this point <sighs> there really is potential for as slow as I've been playing there's actually potential for a lot of kills on this map Okay, so that's what it looks like to get shot at by this weapon. I was concerned that it would kind of give like an exploding effect, like the Stingray in BO4. It doesn't, so that's good. My team's gonna end it here. Ready for this? The headshot multiplier is very good. Yeah, this game's over. They had people back out. Oh, it's not just over yet. I ended up with 91, bro. I'm going to get 100 on this map. I actually really like it. GG's. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.